Coach Mullins was the coach of UConn softball for 30 plus years. Just to be in the seat of someone who used to be here and who really started this program from, you know, Northeast kids, gritty, grinding, going to the World Series in 1993 for the first time with Coach Mullins at the helm is really, really neat. We had an incredible season in 93. Hofstra was hosting the regional. Pat Conlon, who is, you know, currently the coach at Georgetown, she was our pitcher that year. She was an All-American pitcher for us. And I can remember between games, Pat Patty came to our pitching coach, Pete Loney. She goes, oh, you know, they're going to see me a second time. What do I do? And he's like, don't do anything. Just keep doing what you're doing. And she just kept doing her thing, and, and, and we won the tournament. I mean, seven conference championships, first time appearance in the College World Series, coached 11 All-Americans. My sophomore year, coach had us do sort of a report on the women who had worn our numbers before us. And we talked about the 90s for probably days because there was so much success. The numbers speak to themselves of not only the type of kids that she recruits, but the type of coach that she is. Featuring the Butler Bulldogs and your Yukon Huskies. What's so neat about Coach Mullins? Not only did she coach here, but she played here. At the time, there were no, you know, women scholarships. So my coach went to the AD, and the football had an extra scholarship. So I actually came to UConn on a football scholarship. And Title IX, she was a part of that. We were just fighting for the opportunity to, uh, you know, level the playing field a little bit. You know, you didn't know at the time what it was going to evolve into. Just seeing what we have now, we have a brand new beautiful stadium, if not the best in the Northeast. The first time I came to the game and to sit in the stands, it's like, I mean, I had the chills, you know, it's like, it was just so exciting to be there looking around and going, wow, this is our stadium. Like, you know, who, who would have ever thought? What she played on and coached with was not even close to what we have now. And it's really driven myself as a coach, my players to always give back and appreciate those that came before us. When I see my former players, we always talk about the experiences we had. We laugh about some of the conditions, you know, like we used to practice up in the G lot, like where the band practices. It's a parking lot up on the other side of campus because we couldn't, you know, we, we needed to get outside. We couldn't do a lot in Geyer Gym. We, we were practiced in Geyer Gym on a daily basis. They go, oh, coach, I remember, you know, like we never wanted to miss a ball because if you did, like in the park, Walking lot, the ball would just keep going and going. You'd have to run two miles to get a workout just chasing the ball you missed. And even the year we went to the World Series, you know, like I said, we, we didn't get outside. So we would play 10, 12, 14 games, sometimes a third of your schedule before we even had a chance to practice in the dirt. We'd have to go down south and play. And that year when we came back, there were 17 inches of snow on our field. We went out with shovels. We plowed the field, you know, like we were shoveling and pushing snow and everything. And we always laughed about stuff like that or when we were in Geyer Gym and, you know, practicing around eight buckets, you know, with the water dripping down, you know, and then buckets that shortstop, bucket that second, you know, and just, just the conditions, you know, you're laughing at and stuff. I talked about the lack of support, but for those times, we had the support, really, you know what I mean? It was what, at that time, what was going on and stuff. You know, I was by myself. I, I like, basically would beg people to come volunteer for, for me and, you know, that kind of thing in the beginning. The fight she must have endured at that time and then being so steadfast in the years after and fighting for the things that we have today. Trying to build a culture where women are valued, that's not an easy battle and she endured it. And she did it flawlessly and with grace and with dignity. She was the foundation, she made that happen. She brought in those, those women who set the world on fire. And now Laura Valentino is doing the same thing with these young women. It's, an, it's amazing, it's amazing the amount of tradition and winning that has happened here under both of their tutelage. They're great stewards of the sport and stewards of the program. I mean, in the 90s and early 2000s and even the 80s, she put in a lot of time and heart and sacrifice to 
put this program on the map and ever since I accepted this job I owe it to her and everything that she's done for this program to get it back to where it was. I knew I wanted to be a Husky from the minute I stepped on this campus and she gave me that opportunity. So I can't thank her enough and I love her for it. These are the good days.